Buenos días. Buenos días, everybody. <laughs> it's good to see you all. Hope everyone's well today. It is Thursday today. It's Thursday today, Alice. What letter does Thursday start with? That one. That one is the letter T. And it makes the sound T. And when T and H are next to each other, they go F. So today is Thursday. Well done, good reading. It's Thursday today, everyone. Yesterday was Wednesday. And yesterday was the 29th of April. So today is the 30th of April. I've lost my number, oh, there it is. Lost my number 30, there we go. It's the 30th of April today. Fun Camp View fact today, about the 30th of April. There's not one, but there are two Camp View birthdays today. Can you remember whose birthday it is today, Ali? Auntie Lee. Auntie Lee, it's Lee's birthday today. So happy birthday to Lee. And it's also Diane's birthday. Diane, our nurse, it's her birthday too. So happy birthday to Diane, to the two birthday girls. Now, Alice is very busy right now and I'm gonna show you uh, what she's doing in just a second. But we'll have a quick chat about the weather. What is it today, Alice? Cloudy. Cloudy. Now, last night... Can was... we still go out? Yes, I think we can. Last night it was quite rainy, but today it seems like it's starting to clear up. In fact, I think I can almost, almost see a little bit of blue in the sky. So hopefully we'll get some nice dry spells to go out for walks today. So it's Thursday the 30th of April, birthday Thursday in Camp View. And it's a cloudy day today. So not too bad, could be much worse. So, we are still thinking a little bit about our country of the week. Can you remember what our country is, Alice? Scotland. <laughs> we live in Scotland. Clever girl, we live in Scotland. And the country we have been learning about starts with a S as well. The country we've been learning about is called, do you remember? Spain? Spain. Spain or España, if you're saying it in Spanish. Now... We've had a quick look at some Spanish music -y things when we made our castanets and we've been learning a bit about Spanish numbers and today we're thinking a wee bit about Spanish art. Now there is a very famous Spanish artist called Pablo Picasso. He is one of the most famous artists mm. in the whole wide world. I am an artist too. You are an artist I, too. Do you like my cute dress? I think everyone loves your dress. You're absolutely beautiful, <laughs> well done. <laughs> Alice is our artist, and today her art is inspired by Pablo Picasso. Picasso painted all sorts of different paintings, but he's very famous for a style called Cubism, when he used different shapes and colours to make strange looking paintings. And he made paintings of faces that didn't really look that much like faces, but they were very, very interesting to look at. So what we've done today is we cut out lots of different shapes and dif in different colours. And you'll see I've made two eyes. One is a blue eye and one is a green eye and a mouth. I just used white paper and felt tip pens to make them and different co uh, pieces of, co of uh, coloured paper. Now you can use coloured paper that uh, you have that's special coloured paper but you could actually make a really cool looking Picasso style painting with things like um, cut out shapes from magazines and junk mail and adverts and things like that that you see there's lots of beautiful bright colours in all these um, pieces of paper so you could cut up anything at home from your recycling bin maybe that's in the paper section and try and get lots of different colours and shapes. Now Picasso quite Often we were going to try and put all the shapes together so it looks a bit like a head, but Alice has got a different idea and I like it. That's very cool. She's been working really hard to stick all these pieces of paper down. Maybe there's a space in here as well. You can maybe put a piece there. You're going to go for that one there. So a glue stick and some paper is all you need for this one. And it actually looked really fun. And I think if you just stick the eyes on, suddenly it kind of looks like a person. Have you done it? Are you finished? Do you want to hold it up to everyone so they can see? Well done. So that is Alice's Picasso picture. And I wonder if anyone watching at home could make a Picasso picture of their own 
and send it in to me. Well, to um, show it to me online. I would love, love, love to see them. So Pablo Picasso is our Spanish painter. We'll probably be looking at some painters from other places around the world. I'll get paint, mommy. Oh, I wish I hadn't said paint. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll probably do that. We've got lots of other things to do today. We might even try our hand at a tiny bit of Spanish kicking, so we'll let you know how that goes as well. Um, so that's our challenge today, Picasso pictures. Good luck and let me know how you get on. Hope everyone has a brilliant Thursday. It's nearly the weekend. We're nearly there. Happy birthday again to Lee and to Diane. Hope you both have fantastic days, even though you have to stay home. I'm sure you'll have great times anyway. Um, sending lots of love to everyone and adios, amigos. Alice, can you come and say adios? Adios. Adios, amigos. I'm going I'm going to make something on my own without you. She's moving on from me already. Okay, guys. <laughs> Have a great day. Adios.